and the third part will install the MySQL server and transfer our Excel spreadsheet to a MySQL server. And with the help of a connector, we will be able to work in a distributed manner with large datasets using Apache Spark. In the third part, we will consider the main options for storing big data. In practical lessons, we will install the MySQL server on a computer and learn how to work and edit MySQL databases. In the fifth lesson, we will take one regular Excel table and transfer the information from this table to the MySQL server. Then we will install the Apache Spark in order to work with datasets in a distributed manner. When to process the distributed data, we export the data from SQL into the Apache Spark. And to the help of Jupyter Notebook, we prepare the data for visualization of this data. You will be guided through the basics of using Hadoop, Apache Spark, MySQL and Jupyter Notebook. When I got acquainted with the topic Big Data and Machine Learning myself, I often came across problems when installing software and errors while installing various libraries and tools for working with Big Data. It took me a lot of time to find the right solutions, and I would like to save this time for you. To understand the topic of Big Data and Machine Learning, I had to look for a large number of questions for which I did not receive direct answers. In this course, you will find answers to the basic questions related to the topic of big data and machine learning. This is a practical course. And to start practicing, you need only the installed Windows system. This course is for beginners, so you do not need any special programming knowledge or in-depth theoretical knowledge of Python.